G'day scrappers, today I've got an IBM Blade Center S server to scrap out. Yeah, these Blade Centers are a pretty unusual kind of servers and it's been a while since I've got one. I've got one that was much bigger than this. Um, it's got different modules, but this one doesn't have as many modules. A couple of them are blanks, um, a little bit different, but uh, yeah, quite interesting and really super heavy these things this this one actually weighs 108 kilos which is uh, 237 pounds <laughs> so it's a real they're real heavy little buggers to move around so I've, I've already tried passing it on to uh, a couple of different people uh, it's just too old unfortunately so that's okay I'll just scrap it out and get all the the goodies out of it uh, so there's two hard drive modules and uh, there's a lot of weight just in the hard drive modules alone so with each piece I remove I remove quite a bit of weight off the table so yeah you know uh, not, not a bad board um, and then Looks like six hard drives in each one. So, yeah, the uh, IBM System X hard drives, they're 450 gigabytes. Um, well, they're SAS drives. Uh, so, you know, that just shows the age, you know, 450 gigs. You know, they are good, you know, 15K RPM. So, that's all they are really so I might as well just leave them in for now and I might just uh, yeah just take this board out oh yeah and just a little back plane board so um, pretty straightforward uh, it does have uh, this board's got a couple of uh, gold band crystal oscillators and then it's just basically a mid-grade board it's got a couple of BGAs under the heat sinks um, you know quite blank so i'll just leave it as it is same as the back plane board will just be a mid-grade board so that's okay and get the other one out same deal so well that kind of you know six full-size hard drives in each one so that explains uh, a lot of the weight there uh, these days these kind of uh, blade centers uh, would come with small SAS drives the smaller ones rather than the full-size ones and yeah as I said a lot a lot bigger than um, 450 gig. All right. So, should be a reasonably quick scrap, apart from getting the backplane boards, uh, the board that would run in the center that all these things would uh, connect into. All right. So this is okay. So it's just got a DVD down there, and what are these things? All right, oh, interesting. Oh, they're just a RAID battery backup module. So obviously there must be a, a battery in there. We'll, we'll check it out, and a couple of little cards here. So. I'll just get everything out, scrap out this actual box, and then I'll start opening up some of these components. Okay, so I can see board here, a little bit of gold fingers. Um, yeah, basically there's a board about the whole the whole size of it. So this uh, unit actually came from a school, so quite unusual for a school to have 
blade center servers I just yeah uh, I don't think I've ever gotten a blade server from a school before um, okay so we've got a system board in here um, yep looks like the main motherboard most likely in this this one so this would be the most expensive uh, component out of the whole lot there are no other modules this will be interesting this will be the main thing we want to look at all right what do we got here all right this looks like same deal so this is the second motherboard and it looks like potentially two CPUs on each one from school I, I'd imagine there'd only be one on each each one but who knows uh, yeah yeah it's these are gonna be good awesome I love how they just these modules you know slide in and clip in it's just really and one more gosh so three of them oh that's going to be really good excellent potentially six cpus <laughs> uh yeah so this one's a little bit different it's also got uh, what looks like sas drives little yeah okay so little uh system x hard drives would probably be so the other hard drives would have been for storage these would most likely be to uh, run the operating system who knows but there's got to be a reason why there's two of them now this one will be interesting as well slightly different so I'm only going by what's on the labels here so it could be a totally different thing but uh, this one yeah no, they all look the same except for the, with the hard drive and it looks like one more again okay so this one says yeah, it's a slightly different. So the other ones probably had them have memory in there. Whereas this SAS hard disk drive option. Okay, I see. So this is another board, but it's also got a SAS hard drive uh, inside that I can see at least one. Oh yeah, I can see some RAM sticks. So these are going to be awesome. All right, and these are just uh, blanks to fill the gaps all right that reduces quite a lot of the weight but it still is heavy yep there's a a so-so backplane board so now we able to turn it around a bit easier now quite amazing hey uh, just uh, just how many you know modules and components there are in these things so let's get all these out power supply units looks like four of them they're not that super heavy but another four power supply units to the batch Emerson's. Yeah. Okay, you can't really see the size. All right. Looks like four fan modules. Okay. Cute little fans. Hot swap fans, obviously. Looks like there is a little board. I might open one up just to have a look at what the board looks like in there won't be anything spectacular but still I like how they've got trap doors so 
when you take them take one out while it's run, running the uh, you know dust doesn't probably go inside all right okay we've got the cheaper stuff out so it looks like we've got some good oddball modules here yeah oh yeah so intelligent copper pass-through module for IBM blade center okay a pass-through module all right well network stuff so it'll be a good board what's this one all right there's some um, SAS RAID control module yeah again this uh, this looks like it could, it's a double sided board oh, I can see a nice chip on there a ceramic that's going to be awesome this one single board oh, it's got a little daughter card uh, it doesn't really say what it is but uh, yep network old VGA monitor port shows its age a little bit and okay another copper pass through module yep these are going to be super boards uh, looking forward to them and finally another SAS, oh, SAS yeah, RAID control module uh, double board, awesome boards by the looks of it. These are going to be probably the most interesting things. And this is just a blank. Can leave Mr. Blank there. All right. Now, just got to undo something down here to see what this is all about. Okay, oh, I see. So this whole module, module for the modules actually slides out. And that's how we're gonna to get to the back plane boards. Um, that's how it comes. All right, so a, a good value back plane board, good gold pins. So I might just, since we're here, get rid of this back plane board right now. We can start on the modules, have a little look. One thing. Okay. It looks like. Yeah. I thought there might be another screw. Ah, oh. now it's just this wire that's holding it in. Other side. Yeah, and certainly a hot day today. It's going to be really hot a little bit later on. And tomorrow it's going to be an absolute scorcher in the 40s. All right, so not a great deal on them apart from all the gold pins and stuff. There are some nice looking MLCCs. The other side, there has tiny 
uh, IC chips and again all these uh, for gold recovery but <coughs> when they're quite good I can get away with um, they accept these as server grade boards obviously that's what they are really they come from but uh, not every board that comes from a server is a server grade but these the better backplane boards I can get server grade and you can see the the thickness of the board so they're very heavy and and so you do get good value selling them as server grade boards sometimes depends on the pins these pins are the double they're kind of like a flat pin and then a small regular pin so it's a just um, sort of staggers like that so these ones for me not so much good for gold recovery so I'm, I'd rather just sell it and get good value as a server grade board if the board was really thin and light then it would probably worth it be worth it for me to uh, go for the the actual gold pins but uh, not not in this case so all I've got here is just uh, a couple of wires on each side there's no more backplane board uh, yeah so this whole box can go for now and later on when I'm uh, finished with this box I can just slide that that part back into it so we don't in fact that's it I've gotten the backplane board there's uh, <laughs> nothing else I'll just turn around make sure Yep, that's it. These are just little trap doors, little plastic trap doors. Uh, yeah, I'll just pop them out so we can get clean steel. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with the tiny little bit of wire there. More trouble than it's worth. I'm just happy to get it back. Look at that. Levers down. Cut myself already. Locked and loaded. That's it. All right, I'll get rid of this cavity now. And uh, we've got a good piece of scrap steel. And let's get on to the fun part. So we've got 12 modules all up. And uh, well, the first two modules that we did were the hard drive ones. So six hard drives in each one and that's the full size hard drive so that's 12 hard drives and that's not counting the little SAS drives that are there so all that's in this is just the back plane board and this board here so We'll see if we can get it out and just have a look at one of them. Yep. Some are just a little bit uh, too tight and they don't allow the screwdriver to crack it.
and that's all right. I think some of the modules, uh, going back from memory, are going to be pretty awesome inside. Uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> yep, so, okay, so only a tantalum capacitor at the back and a couple of MLCCs. So, not a great deal here. I don't really want to um, depopulate much out of this because there's, there's not much on it as it is. All I have to do here is just take off these two gold band crystal oscillators for my own gold recovery, and then it's just a mid-grade board, really. You know, even though there are a couple of BGAs there, I mean, it, it's a it's a high mid-grade board. Uh, but my my grading, I buy boards. Uh, I used to have mid-grade and then high-grade, but it just just started to get too confusing for people. Um, you know, they'd bring me boards say, is this one, uh, which, what's this, mid or high? So I cancelled out mid and I just started paying, balanced everything out and just started paying uh, more for mid-grade. Um, started paying high-grade price anyway. And, well, since then the prices have gone up as well. So uh, mid-grade, what I call mid-grade, is pretty much every board with uh, circuit boards uh, um, IC chips and stuff like that that isn't like a, a PCI card or isn't a motherboard whether it be a PC motherboard server board or a laptop motherboard so most things go into mid-grade unless it's a low grade and you establish low grade uh, determining basically what's on on the board just because there is an ic chip on the board it doesn't necessarily mean it's mid-grade but uh so yeah it's a, it's actually a, this one's a, a good mid-grade because of these gold pins here you can see there's no plate so these gold pins are actually quite very good if the backplane board was all these kind of pins i'd keep the backplane board and I'd remove them, but in this case, this is just going into mid-grade. All right, so that's the hard drive modules. We've done one, rest is just scrap metal. I'll do the other one later. No need to see that. And also when you're selling me hard drives and they come like that, make sure you take off these brackets. They don't come with the hard drive, so you take them off. If you clean them up, this part here is actually, in this case, cast aluminium so always do that all right let me uh, reset so this one was the oddball module with the DVD player and these back backup battery modules so let's get this one out the way I'll put these aside for now see if we can get into it there we go. all right so it's a, a, a large board but I dare say most of it's going to be relatively empty big board but look at that nice IBM board totally blank just fiberglass virtually on that side uh, and this side barely has much on it at all uh, the only three uh, decent size MLCCs but that's you wouldn't want to touch it well there's nothing else to do populate it's virtually your popular but still might be able to get away with being a mid-grade board simply because it does have some circuitry here uh, it does have a 
a riser card, tiny little gold fingers, but it does have some nice pins. This, um, because if you leave the gold fingers on, this also could be thrown into mid-grade board. Once you take these gold fingers off, even though there's gold pins there, uh, dead weight, so it would just be low grade, barely low grade. Uh, but at least there are a little bit of gold fingers here, and they're, they are good quality gold fingers at least, even though they're tiny. It all adds up, but a mid-grade board. No worries there. Okay, so the rest, there's just a DVD player in here, and a bit of a plastic cover, so I, I might just throw this, this one, leave the DVD in there, and just throw this into dirty pressing steel. And that leaves us with the two battery uh, backup modules. Yeah, I really tried hard to try and sell this instead, but it, everyone just said, oh, too old, and or it's just not my thing. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot more modern ones out there, and, you know, so, okay. So here, all this is, sometimes people throw these into mid-grade, thinking because it's a green board, it's a mid-grade. All we got here are these things, uh, resistors, kind of like capacitors here that um, might be a type of MLCC or maybe not, but it doesn't matter. There's no IC, so there's no reason for this to be a mid-grade board. This is just base metal recovery low grade. For those into uh, silver and stuff, sure. You it's funny, the GoPro seems to be playing up when it gets really hot. Yeah, so as I was trying to say with these ones, if you're into silver, sure, you can keep these and there will be you know traces of silver in there and uh, same as there's a little resistor there a thick film resistor and get some silver so but yeah when you when you get these kind of things definitely it's just a low grade board base metal recovery even though there is traces of silver in it it's not what they're really going for so whereas these uh, boards here even though they kind of got like little uh, transformer thingies there. They ha do have a nice array of uh, ICs and stuff, and that's definitely a, a mid-grade board. Just undo these risers. All just uh, fiddly little little work, and when you take off risers, you just want to make sure that they're not brass. Uh, so I just get a magnet. Yep, they don't stick to the magnet, so brass. It all adds up, eh? So there we have it, other side. Other side is actually quite intense. It doesn't really have many ICs, but it does have all these MLCCs, if that's your thing. Otherwise, it's still a, a, just a mid-grade board. That's okay, it's only, it's only a battery backup module. So can't expect too much. Let's see what Blade Center RAID battery backup module brings us. It'll be a battery. <laughs> there we have it. NIM H. So, um, yeah. Nickel metal hydride battery. Obviously, you can't just throw this into scrap, s scrap metal, scrap steel or anything like that. You want to put this, send this off to a, a battery recycler, get them to deal with it responsibly. You know, as I mentioned, I think in the previous video, not everything is is about trying to make money off. Uh,
everyone's got to kind of do their thing, you know, their their bit for the environment. And um, so, definitely, do not throw these into scrap metal or the rubbish bin. Uh, everywhere around the world, these days, they have transfer stations where you can send batteries for recycling and stuff like that. So. Uh, just do that okay so we got these four modules here that are probably going to be quite awesome I did want to these little ones that came from the back of the unit we've got five of them they might be a good one to uh, scrap out now okay And I dare say everyone's probably going to be slightly different. It's just a feast of uh, circuit boards and stuff out of these these systems. I mean, even for those that like to uh, buy bulk lots at auctions, if you don't have other ways of getting e-waste for free. You know, certainly look out for blade servers as they're coming end of life. There uh, is going to be more and more around. And by the looks of it, certainly some good value there. Okay, so it's a it's a very heavy board. Some really nice chunky MLCCs there. Uh, this part here is putting a lot of weight onto it. Um, BGA's under each of these heat sinks, gold band crystal, another BGA there. It's it's all happening here, and uh, I, I dare say this would be reasonably good for gold recovery. Um, so it's really hard this one. You know, I'd like to say yep, server board. It, you know, it really it's a bit hard. Maybe if I if you took off. The heat sinks that would increase the value a little bit. It would move some of the cheap weight because we've got a lot of dead weight here. Might be able to get away with that as a server grade board. Well, that's one. Got quite a few to go. But. Might as well make the most of this because, as I said, I don't get these very often. Hopefully, in future, though, there'll be, as these are coming really out of date, there'll be a lot more. Um, <laughs> this is the kind of thing, uh, even if you're scrapping for, as a business, you know, the, these blade servers are the kind of thing you just want to sit back and have a beer and uh, chill out and uh, really enjoy them. So this is a double board, awesome. I can already see, look at all the BGAs all over that and ICs loaded, two little gold band crystal oscillators already, oh, three, four, three little ones and one big one. And I can feel on the other side, look at that. Goodness, BGAs all under here, good quality BGA there. Big MRCCs. This is definitely, I mean, this we can almost get away with being a telecom grade board because it's got all chips. It doesn't really have much dead weight. It does have a little bit with these transformer kind of things. But <laughs> because it's, you know, so high end chips, double side, we can get away with this probably just as if you left it as is, didn't really take anything off. Telecom grade board. Okay, so the camera keeps playing up and cutting out it only happens when it's over 30 degrees heat so hopefully it's something that GoPro addresses I'm not sure whether it's the camera or the um, media module that you put the camera into but it just keeps cutting out just did it again that's three times in this short session so I might have to take the camera in take out the battery and let the camera cool down 
put a cool battery in there yep definitely cutting out so this one i would grade this as a server grade board nice bgas got to remove the battery of course not a great deal of rubbish does have gold band crystal oscillators nice nice MLCCs other side as you can see is not as populated so that it wouldn't be a telecom grade board another nice gold band crystal MLCCs but this one with these ports we can get away with this being a a server grade board okay but only just okay so I've got a fresh battery I've let the camera cool down it's just getting hotter and hotter so it's I don't know why these GoPros, this the older GoPros never used to get affected by the heat. I don't know why this one does, but I suppose the more pro processing power they they put in the cameras, probably the the warmer it's going to get, and there's no real cooling mechanism in there. So. Okay, well, how's this one? It's got a nice ceramic board mounted chip though on there. Um, and yeah, so this obviously removed the battery, but this would be a also a telecom grade board. It's just so much stuff on it. Um, if we left this card on it, and yeah it's a pretty good awesome chip there bgas and uh, yeah very nice all right uh, i think we've already done one of these raid controller modules yep this one was a real nice one Once again, telecom grade board, fantastic. Both sides, look at that, even got a nice copper heatsink on there. But uh, yeah, we can put this into uh, telecom. Might have to remove the, the heatsink. But uh, it's gonna reveal a really nice chip under this one. Once again, a board mounted ceramic uh, chip there. So really good for gold recovery, and that's why we can go telecom grade board on this. And we've even taken off some aluminium, added the value. So once again, these things can't be bothered unscrewing. Just pop them. And so this one, it would just go like a server grade, not telecom. One more. Another one of the pass-through modules. Oh. So this one's pretty straightforward. Not much on this, but it's still, still a nice board. Um, probably, once again, a server grade not good enough for telecom grade but three BGAs here server grade board communications yep no worries so some really high-end stuff now well we got four modules left and these are the the real McCoy this is where it's at um, get these open sometimes I get a little bit too close with the camera um, the zoom oh, yeah. had it the wrong side so push lift oh now we're talking okay this is starting to look good How's that? So we've got four RAMs or SD RAM. Nice. Looks like two CPUs here. 
nice heat sinks awesome another heat sink there there's two sas hard drives uh wow that's pretty cool well wow, how's that for a nice board bga another one there there gold band crystal so the ibm server 73.4 gig sas drives so in um, more modern blade servers they usually have mostly all these uh, so we've got quite a few hard drives uh, what was it uh, uh, two four six twelve big ones and there's two out of that they're the two that we got out of the i'm pretty sure it was yeah it was out of one of the modules that we pulled out um, Wow, let's get these uh, heat sinks off. See what we got. All righty. And they're big heat sinks, right? So, this is a copper, tin plated copper aluminium radiator. Take off these steel brackets, and we've got a really nice weight. Wow. There's our little CPUs and yeah, old school. Oh, it's getting hot, I tell you guys. The sweat's burning me eyes. <laughs> um, yeah. They're just, uh, you know, good Xeon CPUs in, in their time, but definitely old school. And that's why no one really wanted this this unit to buy, because just too old and no good to anyone. And so the RAM sticks, well, so far four RAM sticks, and these are... Probably, oh yeah, well they're four gigabyte RAM sticks, but hey, in when it comes to server, I got eight gigabyte RAM sticks that I can't sell anymore. So, so we've got some cast aluminium. Good, bit more value. Here we have it, and so yeah, there's even a nice riser card here with a good BGA gold band crystal oscillator and uh, tantalum on that side reveals some more of these Broadcom BGAs here. Um, so, well, this one is definitely not uh, wouldn't go as telecom grade. Doesn't have much on the back here. Just where the CPUs are, some uh, MLCCs, a couple of chips, but uh, uh, just a silicon BGA there. So, and this one would would probably be a better one, the copper top BGA, gold band crystal, but not the sort of thing you want to really depopulate or anything. And we've got they're kind of like little copper coils and stuff. So, this is obviously dual socket, so it, it is a server. The server motherboard and that's all we'll get off it just a server motherboard but still uh, that's what it is it's a server <laughs> so very rarely out of servers you'll get a, a, a motherboard that you could grade as telecom but it happens all right next one oh okay that's different isn't it Okay, this one's really nice too, actually. Um, very nice. This time we've got copper, straight out copper heat sinks. So again, two more CPUs and check that out. Well, we've got six 12 SD RAMs. 
oh sorry SD Rams Ram bus <laughs> so they're they're worth less than a regular Ram because of the heat sinks the aluminium shields you can take them off and then put them as regular Ram but in a lot of cases what you end up doing is peeling off the actual BGA's that are on it if they are BGA so better off just leaving complete so there we go they're not super heavy certainly not nowhere near as heavy as that but at least it's uh, straight copper we just got to remove the screws and we've got straight copper heat sinks two more of them how's this you know it's unbelievable isn't it like these this is the fourth cpus that we're getting out of them so these are better as you can see old school which is a square center new school is the uh, rectangle here center so your i series cpus are all like this now and what do we got uh, so again xeons uh, but you know it might be worth looking up these particular xeons but because the whole system is end of life out of date uh, very hard to sell these kind of um, cpus unless of course someone was adding an extra module in into their existing blade server and uh, they just wanted you know basic addition okay Now there's a nice car with a couple of BGAs. The lower value BGAs by weight simply because of the copper tops. But in most cases they're pretty good still. So this board, I'd, I'd prefer to put it back onto this to sell this as server grade because it's a high end. But you know because I, I buy mid and high together, it's slightly higher than your regular high. <laughs> Does that make sense? okay so pretty much just a, a tiny little chip under there not a lot nice gold pins here i'd like to put this back on the board as well unfortunately then we lose you know the that weight that steel weight uh, but yep so that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, sometimes you just gotta sacrifice it. You gotta, well, it's the only way to get it out of the, the unit. So that's just how they make them. Obviously with that extra steel, getting a lot more as a server grade board than as scrap steel. And, and you can't like take the board out and then mount it because the screws are on the base. Okay. So, geez, 12 RAM sticks. RAM buses? Oh, these are low profile RAM bus. Oh, gosh, I, I can't remember the last time I got low profile RAM bus. Really cute. And they're, what are they? They're also 4 gigabytes. Now, these ones might be different because they're low profile definitely i'll just look them up but pity they're not eight gigabyte ram sticks because for most servers no one's upgrading with four gigabyte ram anymore uh, even though there's there's 12 on this so what's that uh 56 or something 64 gig ram it's just not enough awesome yep they're all four gigabyte ram sticks they're uh, genuine samsung so beautiful and so there's a battery there it's sort of concealed in this plastic rubber thing so it's just a cover so always you know look out for batteries 
and yeah so uh, again dual socket it's a server board there's really you don't want to take off anything off this particular board because there's not you know it's not going to leave it with much uh, there is one gold band crystal or two there's one there and uh, another one in there they're, they're the only things you'd probably want to take off uh, the rest nice weight good thickness server board good value so far all right let me just uh, towel up here because i'm dripping all over the place all righty oh, i just got to go we had to go inside for just a couple of minutes because i've got the air conditioner on inside and so it's 35 degrees out here and it's 18 degrees inside so it certainly makes a big difference uh, wow <laughs> they just get crazier and crazier very similar to the the other one that we did with the heat sinks over this side but i'm pretty sure it's got a lot more but it's got two four six uh, two four six eight ten twelve sixteen ram sticks ram bus wow that's crazy Let's get these heat sinks off again. Goodness me. They're a little bit different. These are copper, clean copper based heat sinks. Um, all right. do it out you come yep so very very similar uh, you know obviously this part is aluminium if you wanted to take your time and also this part here you could you know sort of like try and uh, break off all these and uh, to get clean copper take off all the fins uh, Sometimes they're easy, but it still does leave like a, a bit of residue on the bottom. But yeah, it takes time. Otherwise, just remove the screws, throw it into copper aluminium radiator as is. Whereas the other ones, these ones, they're pretty much identical except almost uh, tinned copper, pure copper. Um, but these ones are heavier. Wow, and huge CPUs in this one. Green fiber. Look at the size of these buggers. Oh, haven't seen one of these. These are very unusual. New school, rectangle, but very unusual. This one, huge. So I'll, I will look them up just for you know. How to say they are also xenons. Um, E3, is it E3? No, E7, four double eight seven. So I'll, I'll look them up. Just in case, uh, sometimes you, even if they're old school CPUs, sometimes you can get oddball ones that are still sought after, and especially in other countries like the US and so on. Uh, so, either way, they'd probably still be relatively collectible. Let's get these cards out. Okay, so daughter cards, BGA. Gold band crystal. Nice to be able to put these back on to get the full weight. This one here is probably the with the two here, yeah, two BGAs, same deal. So very similar but different. Huh. Oh, low profile again. Again, are they oh no? Well that's better. So these ones are actually um, 8 gigabyte uh, RAM bus so 8 gigabyte low profile these will have a probably a pretty good chance to sell so got to look them up in the states they'd be straight up good sellers here it's a little bit different and it's just not worth shipping overseas because uh, it just yeah eats in 
eats too much into the into the value so people aren't prepared to, to do that but how many did I say uh, 10, 12, 14, 16 wow and they open up differently the levers go sideways instead of left to right Yeah, all eight gigabytes. Wow, so 16 eight gigabyte sticks there. Even at just 10 bucks each, that's 160 bucks, you know. But I'm sure they're worth more than that. Eight gigabytes, low profile. They're awesome. Good stuff. Wow, that was a bit complicated. Battery. So, okay. Oh, seems to be getting hotter and hotter. The camera's still cutting out on me. But uh, yeah, awesome server board. Um, can't remember where I was at because I went into cool down. Really nice gold pins here. But I'll just leave them on. Just a really good server board. Some tantalums. You know, not a great deal of chips, but under each of these uh, heat sinks, you can see this little silicon BGA. They're not so good for gold recovery, so uh, the only probably good one will be under this heat sink. Yeah, there's a silicon under there as well, so this one and that one would be the only real good chips. But there is gold, good gold recovery in all of this. All these pins, everything, they'll get good value from this. And another battery, so two batteries on this one. Okay, so one left, and then we'll just do a quick tally of everything that we got. Um, is the camera just uh, <laughs> keeps cutting out. All right, well, this one is exactly the same as the one we just did. So, yeah, well, there you go. So I might as well just do this off camera because we just did it. So no point in repeating myself. And uh, that'll sort of make the video a tiny bit shorter but once again ram bus two four six eight ten twelve four sixteen low profile and eight gigabytes so i've got 32 of these uh eight gigabyte samsung genuine ibm part number uh really nice so i'll look them up they should be really good so I'll finish this off and then I'll just do a quick tally of what we ended up getting from this amazing server. And uh, yeah. So this is everything that came out of it. Uh, quite a large array of uh, items here, I tell you. Um, all right, well, so obviously one of the first boards we saw was the backplane board from inside. That'll just go as a server board so that's a pretty awesome one and then we've got our all our motherboards so got four really nice motherboards there i've put some of the modules back on top but i might still pick off some of the um crystal oscillators a lot of uh, ram sticks there this one was an unusual one um quite interesting so that's the first five big boards. Um, yeah, well, I tell you what, uh, this is all just the mid-grade boards that we took out from the hard drive modules and, and uh, this big one. So, yep, just basic mid-grade. Then we've got these uh, rear module boards uh, some of them are really awesome between server grade and uh, telecom grade with all these wonderful uh, BGAs all over them and everything there. So oh, six of them, uh, seven of them. So quite cool, nice. Another telecom grade, wonderful. And this one here as well. Cool. So then we had the 
the four power supply units. They've just got gold pins, them ones. Four units and four fan modules. And I mentioned at the start that I was going to open one up just to see what's inside it. And yeah, we've got a little, uh, just a tiny little mid-grade board in there. So not a great deal, but might as well take it out, get a little bit of wire, throw the rest in scrap steel. So that was pretty good. And uh, the hard drives, uh, what did we get? Uh, two, four, six. So we got 12 of the uh, big, nice IBM server series hard drives and got four SAS drives so really nice how's the boards on there they're they're spectacular board that's a very high grade board you know this should go at least either in a good hard drive category or um you could even get you know should be able to get like server grade for that little board uh, but once you've taken the board off, obviously, then it's no longer sold as a hard drive. It's uh, just irony alley, unless you wanted to open them up. And we've got, uh, what do we got? Two, four, six, eight different types of heat sinks. Copper ones. And tin copper plated aluminium. Copper alley radiator and straight out copper. Same as these ones. I'll just leave the fins on them. Copper alley radiator good enough for me and then lots of ram sticks i tell you uh and uh, i mustn't have paid attention but there's mostly eight gig so there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty there's thirty two eight gig ram sticks and two four six eight ten there's twelve four gigs and another four of the bigger four gigs so 32 8 gig ram sticks i thought there was only 16 i um i don't know where i went wrong but that's awesome and the fact that they're low profile i'll just look them up and see there are a couple of variations there's four of these ones which are the hynix ones but uh, probably the same ibm part number um yeah i'll look them up just simply because they're low profile a little bit different um, they might be sought after and then uh, eight CPUs so we've got four of these real big ones uh, they're going to be interesting look them up and two of these ones probably not so interesting but I'll still look them up because they're a, a, a late model version and then two of these old school ones which I won't even bother with but uh, yeah wow how's that eh a really awesome uh, score there uh, I tell you what yeah those boards all server boards you know really good weight good value there so there you go that was uh, the IBM uh, uh, blade server scrap blade server s I think it was so yeah I hope that was a bit of fun for you guys um, it was fun for me. I got lots of stuff to go through here and um, good value, you know, heaps of hard drives, great RAM. If, if these sell, you know, they might sell for 10 bucks, but could be 15, 20 each, eight gig sticks. Um, that's pretty good there. The only other thing I wanted to show you quickly was uh, a scrapper that rocked up the other day, uh, Josh, uh, brought me boards and stuff to buy and he gave me a gift. Uh, Macintosh LC2 computer, uh, old school, really nice uh, model number M1700. So, you know, in okay condition. I'm not sure if I've, uh, I've got one of these units. I probably have. I think I've got a complete unit with monitor, keyboard, everything. But another one to the collection. So, thanks, Josh. Uh, bonus for me. I like all that. Uh, I like the vintage. Uh, Mac stuff or vintage IBM stuff mostly Yeah, so uh, all right. Well Hope that was a bit of fun guys uh, It's so hot, but I've got to keep going because tomorrow I'm not going to get too much done because it's going to be over 40 degrees tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> So I'm just going to clean up here and uh, Go and have a break cool down and then get back to it. So keep scrapping have fun and I'll catch you next time